Good morning, everyone. Another opportunity for us to look at our day and see what direction we want to give it, what theme do we want to give it. And this morning, we're going to work with kindness. Now, certain of these things sound very simple. Okay, let's try to be kinder. But of course, here we're not talking just about the act, but the consciousness of kindness. It is not so much that we want to become kinder, but we want to become kindness. Swamiji says in this book that kindness is not minding what others feel about us, but the simple understanding that kindness is its own reward worth giving because there's just so much sweetness inside you. So you get, get to the point where it's not even an option. It's not even to the point where like, okay, let me, I, I need to be kind. Let me try to be kind in this moment. It's just, there's no other way to be because there's just so much sweetness inside us that what's going to come out is just naturally kind. And this is how Swami Kriyananda himself was. And he often would say to us, he says, there is no excuse ever for being unkind. It's a hard one to swallow but it's one that he lived by. And let's today try to see what we can do about aligning ourselves to that kindness. And a thought for today perhaps is to watch especially the vibration of your words. And that's all. Just try to become mindful today of the vibration. And you'll see how the vibration of our words shift drastically when you're irritated when you're calm when you're kind when you're loving when anger starts to build within and if you can just be a little more conscious and even as the words want to come out even if you have to say something that's a little firm that's a little harsh see if you can still somehow alter the vibration that in your heart that restlessness, that agitation kind of settles down a little bit before it comes out. It's, um, it's a worthy experiment and a worthy introspection to see what is the vibration of every word that I speak. In addition to that, of course, let us do this affirmation. And I hope you do this affirmation more than once throughout the day so that this is something that becomes a part of you. <clears throat> As always, loudly first, powerfully first, projecting this affirmation into the world. The whole world is my home. And the human race, my family. With God's kindness, I embrace all men. The whole world is my home. And the human race, my family. With God's kindness, I embrace all men. In a regular voice, the whole world is my home. And the human race, my family. With God's kindness, I embrace all men. Softer now, the world, whole world is my home. And the human race, my family. With God's kindness, I embrace all men. Now in a whisper, close your eyes, perhaps even drop the gaze down, let the subconscious mind take over, allowing this affirmation to go deeper within and whispering, the whole world is my home and the human race, my family. With God's kindness, I embrace all men. And now lifting up that gaze to the point between the eyebrows, instantly shifting into the superconscious state of awareness now. With deep concentration and power, plant the seed of affirmation into the ether. The whole world is my home. And the human race, my family. With God's kindness, I embrace all men. One last time, silently, mentally, the whole world is my home. And the human race, my family. With God's kindness, I embrace all men. God bless you all. Have a fabulous day ahead.